Good morning, folks. I want to welcome you all to our service this morning and include any of you who are joining us online. We trust that you will be blessed uh, as we worship together this morning. And to welcome back to Philip. Um, we're delighted to have him back in the pulpit again uh, and we look forward to his message. Just the usual announcements on Tuesday morning, the Knit and Natter continues to meet. And then on Thursday at 8, the uh, meeting for prayer, uh, the Faith Mission Prayer Meeting. And then on Friday at 7.30, the bowls will meet. Next Sunday morning at 10.30, the Reverend Michael Gregory will be here to take the service. Um, and then just the reminder of that um, announcement for the, uh, the concert, the Seven Towers uh, concert uh, with special guests um, who shall not remain nameless, the, the Gallagher family in the front row. Um, so we look forward to that um, in the aid of the folks in Mongolia. So that's uh, on Saturday the 19th and anybody looking for tickets or information to speak to Charlotte or myself afterwards will uh, give you the, the details for that. You might remember the announcements in PowerPoint. Thank you, Nigel. Um, good morning, everyone. It's great to be here together to, to worship God in this, our uh, communion Sunday. Let's stand and praise him as we sing together, crown him with many crowns. And, and anguish and, and chaos. 
that at the appointed day it will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God as the waters cover the sea. That every spear and sword will be beaten into a ploy. That all will dwell in, in, in peace together under your gracious, righteous rule. That every knee will bow and tongue confess that you are Lord to the glory of God the Father. We praise you for the certainty and hope we have in a world that, that gives us many reasons to despair. In your holy presence this morning, we praise you for the message of your gospel through which sinners like us can be cleansed and set free. Bow before you now, we confess our sins. We confess our judgmental, harsh thoughts against others. We confess cruel words we have spoken, selfish acts we have committed, kind deeds and kind words left unspoken. We confess our sins to him who paid for them and fell on the cross with his precious blood. We thank you that as we confess, we are washed clean. All stains are blotted out. We are freed from everything that held us down and held us back. To shine for you and to serve you in this world. In this sacred hour we ask that you would meet us afresh. That through your spirit you would do your work of grace in our hearts. That you would deepen our relationship with you. You would draw us closer to you and make us more like you. Be the centre of our worship this morning. Focus our minds and our hearts entirely on you. Be glorified and exalted through all that is said and done at this time. And in our lives when we go forth from here. And now we join our prayers together in the prayer you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We now receive our offering for God's word. Thank you. Jesus, lover of my soul.
as we consider the needs of others. Let us pray. Lord, as we have just sang about, we thank you that you are the lover of our souls, that we have a, an eternal refuge in you, an eternal place of security, peace and assurance, that nothing in this world can provide, and no pitfall we face in this world can take from us. You are our life, our righteousness, our hope, our peace and strength, our strength. You are the answer to all our needs. You are our sufficiency for every trial in front of us. As we buy before you now, we consider the needs of others. We, we consider the needs of our own church. I thank you for everyone here and connected with us, for their love for you, for how you use this congregation to share your love, both in what we do, do together as a church and in our, our daily lives. We pray for your continued blessing on our MWI, our, our knitting group, our, our bowling group, and every other activity connected with us. We pray that these will be places of, of, of fellowship that are just open to others, places where encouragement uh, is given. Lord, we pray that you would lead us as a church as to how to, to best uh, serve you into what you have, have in store for us. Open our eyes, our hearts and our ears to see and hear from you. Give us courage and, and boldness to, to walk in step with your spirit. Lord, we pray for everyone unable to be here this morning. Uh, because of ill health, for those in pain and discomfort. We ask for your healing hand to be upon them, that they will know your grace sufficient, that they will experience you in a very deep, real and personal way. Lord, for those of our congregation who mourn, continue to meet them with your abundant comfort. Lord, we think of the political situation in our own land at this time uh, as well, without a government and with no clear pathway um, forward. We pray for, for wisdom and guidance, for uh, humility, and for everyone trying to resolve issues at the minute, especially around the, the protocol. We, we pray that you would uh, guide our leaders toward um, an agreement that, that works for everyone. Lord, for leaders of all parties in, in Northern Ireland, we, we pray that you'd help them to, to speak reasonably to each other, that, that we could have a, a functioning uh, government here again, to, to give proper plans and, uh, and, and, and budgets for, for each, uh, each department that needs them. We continue to lift up the, the government of the entire United Kingdom um, before you as they, they grapple with very uh, serious and difficult issues around the cost of living crisis at the minute. We pray that in this budget so that is coming, Lord, that, that you will lead them to act uh, justly and compassionately, to, to look after uh, the, the most vulnerable in a way that is fair and equitable toward all. We think of places in the world at the minute where there is conflict, especially uh, the, the Ukraine. We, we just pray for an end to that war there, that you would show uh, President Putin the error of his ways, that he would withdraw his troops uh, to their own land. We pray for, for peace in that nation, that the conflict would not escalate uh, further that the, the suffering of all who have been affected by it um, will be brought to an end. We thank you that you are a good and gracious God, that you hear and answer the prayers of your people. Lord, we, we leave all our concerns 
Let you all that is in our heart be laid before you, knowing that you will do abundantly above all that we could ask, seek, or imagine. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We turn now to God's Word. This morning we are reading from John chapter 16, verses 5 to 11. John 16, verses 5 to 11. These are the words of Jesus. But now I am going to him who sent me. None of you asks, where are you going? Rather, you are filled with grief because I have said these things. But very truly I tell you, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will prove the world to be in the wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. About sin because people do not believe in me. About righteousness because I am going to the Father where you can see me no longer. And about judgment because the prince of this world now stands condemned. We thank God for his word to us this morning. Let's stand and sing. Thank you. 